Okay, so good evening everyone and from today we'll start the advanced Python classes. Just now uh, in front of your screen, I will just share the NumPy. Advanced Python first topic is NumPy. Okay, first of all, uh, those who are using Python idle, okay, please check if it is installed or not. To install uh, NumPy, that is the main syntax pip pip install numpy okay as i already install it if i run it it just show me that uh, advanced package already uploaded or see requirements already satisfied already uploaded in my system you may to restart the kernel to use updated package so if i want to restart uh, if i do restart uh, for the updated packages use you just show me the message so please everyone who is joining with the system because in the advanced python classes you should joining with the system and uh, in the system you please check whether the numpy is installed or not okay for it just uh, syntax write down the syntax pip pip install numpy so what is a numpy <clears throat> actually in your mind uh, numpy numpy is for advanced python uh, library where we use the mathematical functions okay where we use the mathematical functions so there is it would be uh, more over numerical python actually its naming is numerical python all the numerical portion all the uh, rules, regulations, all the theories, the mathematical calculations are happened in our project. Okay. Uh, based on Python, in advanced Python, this thing will help us. So, numerical Python in short form, numpy. So, please write down in your note or in your uh, copy. What is NumPy? NumPy is a Python library used for working with array. Used for working with array. So uh, if anyone tell me, sir, what is necessary to work with list and what is, is necessary to work with array? Can we do it with list? Yes, of course, with list. But what supposed to be array provide us the more features, the more efficient, I will discuss sometimes later means next slide or next question okay there also i uh, differ why numpy is faster see if you see in your screen why numpy is faster this option already there in this portion i will discuss why we working with arrays not list okay so first of all write down in your notebook in your copy or you can take a screenshot what is numpy numpy is a python library used for working with arrays okay numpy library in the python uh, used for working with arrays for mathematical calculation it also has function for working in domain of linear algebra this is the higher domain where the mathematical calculative portion will be done linear algebra also there in the linear algebra there will be vector space those who are from mathematics background they can understand there will be sets there will be vector space there will be some vectorizer okay means i have already uh, bring a project uh, in my early college masters final days that to um, demonstrate a uh, review sorry not review content based movie recommendation system okay there are many of the types of movie recommendation system or database recommendation system, but uh, con in the content based, we are not using directly on any machine uh, machine learning theories. Just we follow up the NumPy in linear algebra. We use the vectorizer and cosine similarity. So these things are all uh, bigger issues, but you just know for the all calculative things are happening here. Okay. So they are also Fourier transform and matrices. This is the main thing. Matrix work will be done in NumPy. Okay. Because here, when you working with arrays, you can convert it into 1D array, uh, starting from 0D array. Element is just 1. 
then 1D array, then 2D array, then 3D array, then higher number of arrays you can make uh, from starting 2D array. That is multidimensional array. Here, there you can express it like matrix form. So, okay. So, these things will be done in NumPy. NumPy was created in 2005 by Travis Oliphant. Okay. It is an open source project and you can use it freely. So they just uh, simplify it or uh, demonstrate it as project, but you can see NumPy is an open library, open source library in Python and you can use it freely after install it. Okay. NumPy full form stands for numerical Python. So it is a short brief about uh, NumPy. You can take notes. Okay, I will give you one or two minutes to take first point note. Everyone, please do with system. Okay. <clears throat> please do this. Please do this. Please. Okay, done everybody? Yes, sir. Okay, now the next uh, option or the next point is why we use NumPy. That option is similar to the next one also. Why NumPy is faster? Because if anything is faster, then uh, we have already used something. So actually, we obviously make it happen. So why we use NumPy? In Python, we have list that serves the purpose of arrays. Already know <clears throat> these things type. This is the list. Okay. Denoting the list. In Python, we have already, we have list that serve the purpose of arrays. But the list are little bit slower. Okay. NumPy aims to provide an array object. NumPy what does mean provide an array object means this list would be convert into array object just like x is equal to np dot array. Okay. This is the syntax. I will demonstrate it in later. But what it actually does, it actually convert this list into array object, into array object, means you can say array, by this array is a keyword, and this actual keyword is also in NumPy library, okay, I will show the NumPy directory or NumPy library, here you can find this keyword, array keyword. With the help of array keyword, we can convert a list into array object to work in NumPy. Okay. So uh, that is up to 50x faster in traditional Python list. Okay. Obviously, the array object is NumPy is called nd array. The array object means after this list convert into array, it will call array object. Okay. And uh, the array object in NumPy is called nd array, means this is nd for dimensional, n dimensional array, okay, n dimensional array, means how many dimension it has, uh, wh what is the meaning of dimension, why 
how we find the dimension we also discuss with it okay so just for your knowledge the array object is in numpy called nd array or n dimensional array it provides us a lot of supporting function that makes working with nd array very easy arrays are very frequently used in data science supporting functions means numpy will provide uh, that is uh, reshape also there for reshaping the matrices uh, if we find the index value we also do that then uh, there is also uh, in ndim in dim for finding the dimension in length for finding the length or item so this function will provided us by numpy that working with nd array very easy arrays are very frequently used in data science where speed and resources are very important in the data science you are working simultaneously with many types of data so there should be required speed and resources for that reason as least python list is more slower than arrays we are working with numpy where the list provided into or convert into array object and it is easy to work with i think everybody understand why we use numpy or you can say numerical python library now uh, okay please uh, note it why you use a uh, numpy now moving on to the next portion why numpy is faster okay first option numpy arrays facilitate advanced mathematical and other types of operations on large numbers of data means all the mathematical calculation all the mathematical function operation what actually done in our project for the uh, further uh, operation or for further purpose that's why all the calculation and all the operation mathematical operation is done in numpy with the help of numpy arrays okay then numpy is able to divide a task into multiple substructs and process them parallelly okay that means when we use a list python list it is difficult to them for the bigger process for the bigger project work to simultaneously process all the list parallelly okay but with the help of numpy array that actually divide a task into multiple substructs okay when it actually I think it will be divided into uh, some dimensional things or you can see in matrices form. Then it is compared to others. It uh, actually works faster than anyone. Okay. So for this reason, NumPy is faster. Number three, NumPy functions are implemented in C. There is a uh, some cons uh, confusion. Sir, we are working with Python, but you said C. Yes, because some of the NumPy functions are implemented in C also. It is taken from C, which again, it makes faster compared to Python list because NumPy function, as NumPy function is implemented in C, uh, as we know or discussed in the previously from starting the Python, a uh, basic Python that some of the C functions are more faster in the calculative portion. Okay, not all the thing in the calculative portion uh, in doing all the operational things than Python functions. So NumPy functions are implemented in C. It is more faster than Python list. Okay, I hope everybody understand till that. Uh, now four, all the elements stored in an array are homogeneous this is a very good point and also very important okay what it means array uh, the elements that are stored in array means homogeneous but the list contains heterogeneous element what is the meaning of homogeneous and heterogeneous uh, <clears throat> array okay 
just hope one, two, three, A, C, B, then again five. And one data also there, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And already also there, A, B, C, D, E, and F. Okay. So uh, this would be a data or array set. This would be a array set. And this would be one type of array set. Okay. This is called heterogeneous data. Means not same type of element contents. This is not same type of contents. Because this is integer and this is character. But these or these things are homogeneous. These array, suppose this would be an array and it contains only integer elements. This would be an array only contains character elements. Okay. So homogeneous means same type of data. Heterogeneous means different type of data combinedly stored there. So I think everybody know it is easy to search or find to work with same type of data other than different type of data. Understand? Please respond, guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so for this reason, list as list contains heterogeneous types of data or elements. It is provided after sorting, after working with it. It is a little bit slower rather than NumPy arrays because it is already homogeneous data type. So it is easy for the arrays to working with it as faster. Now, the next one is NumPy makes use of multi-dimensional arrays, which are fast in term computation speed as compared to Pandas data frame. So Pandas, as you know, uh, after completing NumPy, we'll move on to the Pandas, but uh, Rather than just remind NumPy. So, see, wait a minute. This will be and one dimensional array. This will be zero dimensional array. This will be two dimensional array, means starting multi dimensional. And if we do this, one, comma, two, comma, three, comma, four this will be three dimensional array okay so we create in numpy multi dimensional array if we create in them uh, if we transverse the data into arrays it will little bit easier to calculate or to perform operation okay so as to process more faster we should increase the computation speed that's why NumPy has worked more faster with the help of multidimensional arrays rather than other things. So these are the five options for why NumPy is faster and why it is so much useful for the operational things. Okay, you please take a screenshot of it or take a note, all of you. <clears throat> All of you take a screenshot of it. Why use NumPy? Why NumPy is faster? Done, sir. Okay. <clears throat> Tompot and Abriti, any problem? No, sir. All good. Okay, okay. If you're facing any issue, uh, if uh, any problem with the language, you can tell me. Oh, no issue. Okay. 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 So move on to the next portion. Installation of NumPy. Already told all of you. Just in your Zupyter notebook or PyCharm or Python Idle, whatever you use the Python compiler, just write down pip install NumPy. Okay. 
you will get a little bit interesting things about numpy because uh, this is the portion i'm just basically step by step moving on there are so much about this library portion okay numpy pandas uh, matplotlib and then sibon if anyone can't finish all all the details okay but i will demonstrate basic two bigger things each and every function that helps you uh, to moreover to find out uh, there are any people who are connect with me in linkedin anybody is there yes, okay uh, i will share if anyone connected with me linkedin they can access my i am reposting i think repost last day a uh, total screenshot of numpy or python projects functions okay there is a little bit difficult to each and every one sir in a project uh, means let's finding the null values is null okay shaping reshape length length so where or what function we use so i am just checking there is a guy who just list upon some of functions for the project's purpose where and what is is used and what is it purpose okay i will share it to you no issue if anyone contact with me in the linkedin they can uh, see i am reposting it last day or the day after previous day okay sir thanks okay uh, so after installation of numpy we'll move on the importation means means import numpy so if we working with the mathematical operation for the bigger projects we should import okay so what is it import Okay, this is the syntax. The syntax is not caps lock on, caps lock off. Okay, that is import numpy. Okay, once numpy is installed, import it in your application by adding the import keyword. By adding the import keyword. Okay, import numpy as in p so first of all they are numerical python actual name is numerical python then its shorter version comes that is numpy okay then also its shorter version come in p so from this to this now what is the syntax import numpy you also write that or you also write import numpy as np okay import numpy you also do that you also do it write that import numpy as np the numpy package can be referred to as np instead of numpy as means allies a l i a s means if you rename or something denotes to something write uh, import sandeep as s n d okay sorting from for the help of further process so <clears throat> this actually does here uh, now from that okay wait a second scroll it down okay first of all i am creating array okay creating array just here run it it shows error please explain why it shows error any of you it not just i am asking query just a discussion after seeing this portion what's come of your mind what is there uh, wrong thing or mistake anyone from your side so there is no uh, the bracket we need to use the square bracket uh, means uh, we don't use square bracket no the okay. parenthesis we need to I think use okay Mm 
Okay, so that's the syntax. This is the list. Okay, and we yes, convert sir. the list into array object. So this will be the right syntax. We should give a parenthesis. Now this is an array. This one, two, three, four, five is not further list. It is an array. So what actually does here? Import numpy as np. Then this list with the help of this keyword. And this is the syntax. Convert it into array. One, two, three, four, five. This now this is not a list. This is an array. Okay. So this keyword. I am repeating again this keyword, array keyword, you can find in the directory, numpy directory means how many functions actually there in the numpy library, Python library. So for this, this is the syntax, print dir np, dir means directory. Okay, you also do in your system and see, find, find where is the array keyword, okay, here, yes. C with the help of numpy function library keyword array we make a list into array object okay so this is the main uh, magical things that we use also a keyword that already stored in the numpy function with the help of it we create a list into numpy array this is the keyword array now Moving, okay, you can write it, the example, import numpy array and make a heading after this. Okay, then doing it. Take a screenshot or you note it down. <clears throat> Moving on, this is the NumPy directory. Just print dir np and you will find all the functions what are stored in the NumPy Python library there. Now, again, I am moving on to the NumPy creating arrays. NumPy is used. Okay. NumPy is used to work with arrays. The array object is NumPy is called ND array or in dimensional. Okay. We can create a numpy in the array object by using array function. See, this is the array function. So for that reason, what should we do? Import numpy as np. Then just taking a random variable here. I am using arr. You can use ax, y, anything from your side. Then np dot array one two three four five. This is the list. Convert this list into a numpy in dimensional array with the help of add a function. Okay. Print arr. It will show you what is the array looks like. And print type arr. It will show the type because numpy dot nd array. It is now numpy dot nd array. Okay. Using again example C import numpy as np then taking x is equal to np dot arr ay array starting with it just taking 2 comma 4 comma 6 comma 8 okay then there print x run it Okay, now it is transformed into array. Now 
we just want to type see the type print type then x run it will show so x that is print here is a numpy nd array so this is the example of creating numpy arrays okay all of you do your system right now all of you do in your system right now I'm giving you one or two minutes just right now Done? Yes, sir. Okay. Respond, everyone. Done in your system. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, okay. Sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, moving on to the dimensional. That I am already repeating again. What is the dimensional array? Okay. To create n dimensional array, we can pass a list. See? or a tuple or any array like object into the array method this is sorry tell me here is this a list or tuple tuple yes here we passing a tuple and convert it into an array so just important for the first line to create an nd array in numpy means n dimensional array in numpy we can pass a list what we can pass a list means this form a tuple this form or any array like object into array method and it will be convert into an nd array use a tuple to create a numpy array, import numpy as np, then taking a randomly variable arr np dot array. In the array function, we just provide a tuple. Print ar, it will convert it into n dimensional array. How can we find the dimension? We will talk it later. But now means n dimensional array. Okay. Moving on to the next dimension in arrays. What is the dimension? A dimension in arrays is one level of array depth or you can say nested array. How many elements in that array and arrays that have arrays as their element means this is zero dimensional array. Just one element in the particular array. This is moreover one dimensional array okay but if we put it down here it is two dimensional array means an array that have arrays as their element you can also do it like that means okay i'm repeating it again
Okay. So nested array means arrays that have arrays as their element. This totally is a array, but their element also are separately arrays. So these things means after one dimensional, or you can say from two dimensional arrays, all are nested array. Okay. So what is a dimension in arrays? A dimension in arrays is one level array depth. It means how many elements are there? Is it a single element, multiple element, or arrays as any element? So this is called the dimension of an array. Okay, till now, take a screenshot or note it. So can you please read this dimension as a, it's a little okay. confusing. Just, just a bit. <clears throat> okay. Dimension means the level of array depth. Okay. What is the array depth? Level of array depth means this is when I go here, zero dimensional array, you will see this array means third bracket five. This is only single element, no dimension. Okay. No any depth, just a single element. So it is zero dimensional array. Okay. But I will provide this one comma two comma three. There is three elements, but only one array depth means only one array. No further brackets, no further dimension is provided here. So this is single or one dimensional array. But for this, this total is a single array. Okay. This okay. total is a single array, but inside this array, the this element, this element, this element also separately arrays. Yes, so what is the called? Arrays okay. that have arrays as their element is nested array. Who are the nested array? From starting from two dimensional arrays. Two dimensional. Okay. This. 1, comma, 2, comma, 3, comma, 7, comma, 8, comma, 9. Okay. This is two-dimensional array. If you finding again third bracket, this will transfer the three-dimensional array. Three-dimensional. Okay. So this is also two-dimensional array. So starting from two-dimensional array, all are nested arrays because all the arrays, two-dimensional, three-dimensional, four-dimensional, or higher-dimensional, all provide the elements as arrays. Okay. They are all okay. elements are arrays. So this is called dimension of mm -hmm. arrays. Now, okay, you please take a screenshot of it as quick as possible. Okay. Do it right now. Sir, uh, which yes. array is this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine. Uh, what is uh, which dimensional array it is called? It is called two dimensional array because they could double. There is a element one, two, three is a single array, four, five, six yes. is a single yes. array, seven, eight, nine, single array. All three singles yes. array is uh, in the another array. Okay, sir. So it is called two dimensional array. Done, everybody? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, moving on to the creating of 0D arrays, 1D arrays, 
what actually it does. Just a minute. <coughs> Okay, starting from 0D arrays, 0 dimensional arrays. 0D arrays is scalar from. Do you know the term scalar and vector from mathematics? Anyone? Yes. Okay, so that 0D array means these things. Okay, it transfer this number into array, print array. So see, 42. Just simple 42 is a 0D array. 0D arrays or you can say it as scalars are the element in an array. Each value in an array is a 0D array. Means if 1, 2, 3 is a one dimension, is an array, not dimension. Just thinking no, any of the dimension, just thinking this is an array. If it is an array, then single 1 is also 0 dimensional array. Single 2 also 0 dimensional array and single 3 also 0 dimensional array. 0 D arrays or you can say it as scalars are the elements in an array. Each value in an array is a 0 D array. How to create 0 D array? Just import numpy as np array np dot array which number you convert into zero dimensional array or anything array 42 single value okay print it and if we want to check is this a scalar or any arrays print type error see this 42 this result 42 not this not this this result 42 is a numpy in the array Okay, it is zero dimensional array. So what is zero dimensional array? Zero dimensional arrays as refer to another name that is scalars are the elements in array means uh, actually it is denoted as scalar just not in uh, in the third bucket or anything else. So it is called zero dimensional array. If we create any array, Okay, if we create any array, we make simple things, 4, 5, this is an array. Single 4, single 5 is called 0 dimensional array. Okay, each value in an array is a 0 dimensional array. So how we make 0D arrays, it demonstrate here. Now, moving on to the next part, that is 1D array. 1D array. How we can make 1D array? An array that has 0D arrays at itself or as itself element. It called unidimensional or one dimensional array. These are the basic things. An array that has 0 dimensional array as its element. 1, 5, 7, 9. This is an one dimensional array. There are elements 1, 5, 7, 9 are all zero dimensional array. So an array that has zero dimensional arrays as its element is called unidimensional or 1D array. This is the common and basic arrays. Now see how we create the 1D array. Import numpy as np arr np dot array. Then this is the list array function. Print array. This is your answer. I will give you another example. Okay. Now.
ओके सॉरी कैपिटल ओके सो दिस थिंग्स नाउ टाइप सी दिस इज एन एनडीआर दिस इज एन एनडीआर सो फ्रॉम योर साइड इफ एनी वन आस्क दैट सर इट डज नॉट शो अस वन डी और जीरो डी दैट सिंपली सेज इन डी so there is another function from where i can found what is actually dimension of it i will discuss it later so i just suppose to inform you to show you this is a list 2479 in there before converting with the array function but after converting it when we print it this is the array so how this way we can create one dimensional array okay uh till now please take a note or take a screenshot of it <clears throat> sir yes sandeep uh, sir can we store more than one element in zero d array जीरो डी एरे मीन दिस थिंग ओके जीरो डी एरे आई एम यूजिंग दिस इन प्रीवियस बट इट इज नॉट राइट ओके मीन्स दिस इज ए एरे वन थ्री फोर एनी ऑफ द एलिमेंट ओके एनी ऑफ द एलिमेंट यू क्रिएट ए एरे इन साइड दिस एरे द इच एलिमेंट वन थ्री फोर दिस सिंगल दे आर कॉल्ड जीरो डी एरे Okay, okay, sir. Okay, okay. this thing singly, these things one, three, four, five. Actually, in the mathematical, these are the scalar form. After you create this, this it will transfer into vector form. So this zero D array as denoted as scalars also. Okay, yes. each and every okay, element you want to put in a single one D array, no issue. But this single element inside it is actually zero D array. Done, everybody. Done. Okay. Okay. Abriti, Sampat, Gayatri, Altaf, Mehul. Done. Okay, yes, sir. Okay, Susri, yes, Sefali, yes, Susri. How about your yes, health? Sir. Yes, sir. I'm good, sir. Okay, fine. Okay. Okay, now we move on to the two D array. So, what is meaning of two D array? Two dimensional array, and from two D array, it starts multi dimensional array. An array that has one dimensional arrays at its element is called two D array. These are often used to represent matrix. just ignore two order tensor not like that your end just remind these are often used to represent matrix okay 1,2,3,4,5,6,7,8 this single element are zero dimensional array when we put into it these whole are act as an element okay of a 1d array of a 1d array now if we divided 1 2 3 just we assume this is a array separate array and 5 6 7 8 
this is another array what it called from your end what this is called and what this is called one d array one d array yes one d array this is one dimensional array this is also one dimensional mm -hmm. array but if we put another square bracket this will convert into two dimensional array and here this 1d array act as an element of this whole array okay so first of all okay one minute okay first of all one two three four five six seven eight separately not when the bracket is there. Not when the bracket is there. Okay, sorry. Separately, one, two, three, comma, dot, 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 eight. Act as an zero D array. No third bracket. Yes, when we put a third bracket or square bracket in it and put all the element in there, all the 0D arrays in there, all the scalars in there, it turns into 1D array. Now we're supposed to create two one-dimensional array. Means 1, 2, 3, 4 is separately 1D array. 5, 6, 7, 8 separately 1D array. And put them another third bracket. It will turn into 2D array, two-dimensional array. So these second array, second dimensional array, 2D array is used as matrix. How? See, import numpy as np, then variable np array. This is the array function parenthesis. Then this is 1, 2, 3 and a single 1D array. 4, 5, 6 single 1D array. And total is another square bracket. It convert it into this two-dimensional array. This is we use as matrix form. I am giving you another example. Okay. Import numpy as np y is equal to np dot array. First one. Then here another one. 10, 20, 35. Okay. Comma forty five seventy five eighty print y. See, it will convert into two D array. Okay, so this is two D array, two dimensional array. I am repeating again when one dimensional array or in which array. One dimensional arrays are act as an element. It is called 2D array. 2D or two dimensional array. Two dimensional arrays are used to represent in matrix form. Used to represent in matrix form. Hmm. Now moving on three dimensional array. Moving on three dimensional array. Just like previous one, an array that has 2D array or matrices, <coughs> sorry, as its element is called three dimensional array. An array that has 2D arrays or matrices as its element is called 3D array. Now again, 10, 20, comma 30. This single element are zero dimensional array. Okay. When we put it in there, 10, 20, then 30. Okay. With me, all. This is 
This is called one dimensional array. One dimensional one array. Now we create this 10, 20, 30. This is a single one D array. And this is 40, 50, and 60. This is another single dimensional array. This is called 2D array. 2D dimensional array. Now, Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. This is a second dimensional array again. Seventy, eighty, comma. 90, 100. So these two, this one and this one, these two, this whole two, this one and this one, separately two dimensional array. And when we put again an extra parent uh, square bracket, it turns into 3D, 3D array. 3D. Okay. So this is how 0D array, 1D array, 2D array, 3D array is connected. We can convert 0D array to 1D array, 1D array, 2D array using the elements, 2D array into 3D array using the element. From starting from 2D array, we use it actually in the matrix form. Here is the example. I can give again another example that is this. Import numpy as np x is equal to np dot array pin done now this whole is a 2d array then comma again this will start again 8 9 okay comma 10 11 12 done done and then this thing Where is invalid syntax? So print x in the back. Oh, okay. Why? Line 3 in P array. Oh, okay, sorry. See, this is the conversion of 3D array. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, single 1D array. Then we make it into two dimensional array. Same as 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 is a single or 1D array. We make it in a two dimensional array. Two two dimensional array in a single array, it converts as three dimensional array. Please, first of all, uh, take a screenshot of 3D array because it is vast. Then I will scroll up and then take a screenshot of 0, 1, 2 array. Don't see. No, sir. Yeah. 
starting from here. Tensor. Okay, starting from here, zero D array and one D array. And it is 2D array. Now moving on to the next portion, how to find, okay, uh, first of all, clear about higher dimensional array. Okay, uh, if anyone find that, if anyone I said uh, more than three, is there any uh, dimension we can create? Yes, obviously. We can create higher dimensional arrays more than three. An array can have any number of dimension. Okay. And so this is the first as a short brief how uh, we can create higher dimensional array. When the array is created, you can define the number of dimension by using the N D M I N N D M I N -I -N argument. This is the argument. Okay. N D M I N. So this is the argument and we can create any number of dimensional array how we create i'm seeing you an example first of all import numpy as np then taking x as variable np dot array okay now we taking simple 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. These are the elements. Okay. Now, comma. We want to create five dimensional array. Okay. See. In if if you want to create dimensional arrays more than three more than three how you create for three i already see you okay uh, if you want to create just like this is it possible to make let's check yes it's also possible to make as three Okay, N, D, M, I, N. This is the syntax or argument for passing through the dimensional number. N, dimensional number. Okay, now if we want to create five dimensional array, run. This would be the five dimensional array. So if actually I demonstrate it, just a minute. One, two, three, four, five, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. One, two, three. Four, five. For one D array, one, two, three, four, five, zero dimensional arrays or scalars. Apart from one D array, all two D, three D, four D, five D, there are single element. That is this one D array. Okay, that's you clear, right? Everybody. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, okay okay this is a array yes sir. and this 1d array has five elements apart from this 1d array 2d 3d 4d 5d this all dimensional array has only single element okay, okay. now just like uh cover of onion okay cover of onion when uh, ph ke chilke jaise hum log agar usko kholte hain 
तो जैसे बाहर निकालता है एक एक परत के ऊपर और एक परत तो वैसे यहाँ पर इन दिस एरे दिस इनर मोस्ट डायमेंशन इज फिफ्थ डायमेंशन हैज फोर एलिमेंट ओके सॉरी हेयर आई एम यूजिंग दिस विल बी फाइव एलिमेंट्स बिकॉज आई एम यूजिंग फाइव सो इन दिस एरे दिस एरे दिस एरे एक्ट एज fifth most dimensional array not uh, it is first dimensional array 1d array but it is innermost fifth dimension it goes on to the fifth dimension okay matlab ye jo hai andar wala portion okay it contains five element it contains five element and the innermost dimension is this after that the its outside portion means this thing these things okay these things have one element this simple this one okay and after that these things also have one element after that these things also have one element and after this first these things this also have one element not the word i am writing here is just for the uh, reminder purpose not uh, so much because it is little bit confusion sir uh, the innermost dimension how it is fifth dimension because it single uh, bracket don't use it just remind that this single or 1d array contains five elements apart from that however we increase the dimension the number of element is single one okay so this is the higher dimensional array we can create we can create okay now how we check dimension okay for the dimension purpose print this then variable dot n d i m this is the argument here to create higher dimensional array the argument would be n d m i n n d m i n means from dimensional it comes n d m i n okay and to find how many dimension this will be n d i m here i is letter of m but here i is previous of m so remind that okay n d min and another is n d i m n d m so these things n d i m run it it will show how many dimension it has so to find the dimension of an array we use d i m n d i m argument now okay first of all uh, take this note then we will moving on to the next part uh sir yes uh sir can you give the example for higher dimensional array as you give for three dimensional array yeah this is this is the higher dimensional array example higher dimensional means more than 
three dimension. Okay. okay. See here, this array, this one D array, we convert it. This this is a list. We convert it into array, and we just put it here the dimension five. You can see any of the dimension. See, this is ten D array. Any of the dimension you want. See okay. what it looks like. Right. You, in this way, you can create higher dimensional array. Uh, so, uh, if you want to create, uh, uh, before that, do you create in the three dimension array for the two, uh, we have a two two dimension array so that the, it convert as a three dimension array now. Uh, likewise, uh, how to be created, sir? That's that is my likewise, <laughs> you how to create a two dimensional to three dimensional, yes. Okay, that's the later portion. Okay, that will okay. I uh, I show you later. But now just uh, these things. See, okay, you can also do uh, create these things like that. Okay, okay. just okay. the uh, list that will convert it into array and then put it the dimension number. Okay. Okay, so how we can find the dimension? Okay, already show you the keyword argument. Now import numpy as np. Okay, do it with me. A another variable, b variable, c variable, d variable. This 42 a dot endim. Okay, okay. I am taking another example, it will be helpful. Import numpy as np. X is equal to np dot array then 25 let's 25 run it sorry print x run it this is a zero dimensional array now y is equal to np dot array now these things 25 comma 30 print y this is one dimensional array This is two dimensional array. See, so this is 25, zero dimension, uh, 25 print. I'm, I'm printing all of this. Now, control C, just printing array. Now we finding the 
डायमेंशन एक्स वाई सी दिस विल फाइंड जीरो डायमेंशनल एरे सिंगल एलिमेंट नो स्क्वायर पैकेट ओके दिस विल मूव ऑन टू द वन डायमेंशनल एरे दिस ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड थर्टी दिस ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड थर्टी वन सिंगल वन डी एरे एलिमेंट दिस थर्टी फाइव एंड फोर्टी अनदर वन डी एरे एलिमेंट दिस टू मेक्स टू डायमेंशनल एरे सो दिस इज द टू डायमेंशनल एरे Now move on to the next portion. Ten twenty is a sing one D array. Thirty forty is a one D array. These two makes a two D array. Fifty sixty a sing at one D array. Seventy eighty is a one D array. These two makes another two uh, D array. So these two two D arrays make a single three D array. Okay. So in this way we can find the dimension of arrays. Means n dim. Okay, so what is the difference between N D M I N and N D M? Using N D M I N, we can uh, create or putting down the number of dimension to create any dimensional arrays, and to find out how the dimension works, how the uh, number of dimension in a particular array, we can create N D I M using this argument. so just remind these two arguments okay take a note of it dimensional arrays okay heading dimensional arrays then you can take any of the example as you wish So N D M I N uh, helps to create the dimension, you know, the edge yes. dimension. Yes, yes, yes. To create the dimension, okay. and okay. to find the dimension in D I M. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm not continue. I'm continue this three times today. Okay, <clears throat> just take a minute. And this will start from next time. Okay, so now. Check the data type of an array. We create an array. That's not issue. But if we want to check which data type is there, we also do like that. Import numpy as np list. Then just how you create your array. What is the argument? D type. So this is the reminder portion. What function? what argument we use to find out d type means data type find out the data type of an array you can make a heading to find out the data type of an array we use the argument d type okay d type now to find out how many items in the array how many items in the array c import numpy as np x is equal to np dot array then we convert this list into array for this print len x run it it will find out n means how many number of element is there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 90 d array is there we can also do it like that 
See, using size, so using len, another function, size. For size, you need not give any parentheses. Okay, so these things is reminder portion. D type to find data type, we use D type argument to find how many numbers in the array, len or size. Okay. Now <clears throat> we put on it the next one. Check the item size. Okay. So these two are connected. These two. What is the meaning of item size? Means just a second. These are the element in it 1D array. This is a 1D array. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are the element, suppose. Okay. This one is a 0D array. 2 also 0D array. 3 also 0D array. 4 also 0D array. 5 also 0D array. 6 also 0D array. But this element or you can say this scalar element, or you can say this 0D array, taking how many bit, taking how many bit space in the array is called item size. Bit or byte, have you done, uh, know the concept? Bits, bytes in a computer system. Yes, sir. Okay, so this zero dimensional array taking how much uh, bit space in an array is actually called the item size. Most probably for all, generally it takes four byte, okay, four byte space. If you do any of the things, Okay, I'm doing it from six. Just remove it, run. It will show you four. M maximum for the general cases, uh, the elements or you can say zero D arrays that will provide us or create one D array. It will take all the elements separately. Uh, four bit space. Okay, so this is actually called item size in the array. But what is the total item size? Means total bytes. How many total bytes are there? One, four bit space, two, four bit space, three, four bit space, four, four bit space, five, four bit space. So total item size. For that, what it will be the argument? N bytes. Nine element, each of four bit, 36 bytes. Understand? Yes sir. yes, sir. So, this is the total first day brief introduction about NumPy. Okay. So, NumPy, if we summarize it, NumPy is a Python library where we uh, use or where we can access or convert list tuple or array like object into numpy array using numpy array we can create operation or mathematical any of the function calculation do for our further project it is faster of than random python list because of it homogeneous type of data sorting and parallelly it will more faster than that and in this way we are taking about nd array or n dimensional numpy array mostly useful for our further process or further operation so this is uh, today's after today's class we supposed to take a, another class on saturday okay from next week every week three classes would be there okay if there is any meeting or anything possible i will uh, inform but three classes in each week for the python or we i think if we merge sql also uh, yeah. no issue but three classes will be randomly happen we'll move on to the next day saturday it will be there 
more brief introduction about uh, NumPy. So thank you to all. Just a minute, nobody remove. I am just taking a screenshot of the attendance because advanced Python is another attendance list would be there. Just a second. Okay, just a minute. I'm taking the attendance. Just a minute. <clears throat> 